Now today we will focus on some special integration formula proof, okay, one by one in very comprehensive way for IITJ foundation batch before starting for session three, okay, that's very important. Proof also important. That's why we have focused to request to all students for IITJ foundation batch to see very carefully. If any doubt and comment it, I will discuss again, okay. So now today we will focus on six formula, okay. This first second third fourth fifth and sixth these six formula is very important okay proof is also important that's why okay and also memorize that type and how can do one by one okay now question left hand side look left hand side if you see very carefully integration of dx upon x square plus a square here let x this be equal to a tan theta okay then differentiate both side then we got a into here sec square theta d theta okay after that replace x is replace a sin a cos theta and dx is replace a sec square theta d theta divided by x is a square tan square theta plus a square now if a square common in denominator and numerator is a so after solving then we got 1 by a that one is sin sec square theta and denominator 1 plus tan square theta clear and 1 by that is 1 by a here sec square theta and d theta divided by sec square theta okay after that you can see very carefully simply 1 by a into d theta so theta divided by a plus c so theta is what about theta? Theta is tan inverse x by a. So you can say that 1 by a into tan inverse x by a plus c. Clear or not? This is the final answer. That is right hand side. So you can say that left hand side this be equal to right hand side. Let us prove it. Okay. That is the first. Now we have focus on second. Now left hand side. If you see very carefully, dx divided by under root a square minus x square. Let x this be equal to a sine theta, and dx this be equal to a cos theta d theta okay now put here dx is replaced to a cos theta d theta divided by under root a square minus a square sin square theta after that that one is a cos theta d theta divided by a is common so we are got we got 1 minus under root 1 minus sin square theta and that one is cos theta and that one is also cos theta d theta okay after that that is d theta so d theta plus c and here theta is sin inverse x by a so you can say that that is sin inverse x by a plus constant c that is right hand side so left hand side this be equal to right hand side prove it okay now left hand side dx divided by under root 
a square plus x square okay now let x this be equal to a tan theta so theta this be equal to tan inverse x by a and that one is dx is written as differentiating both sides then we got a x square theta d theta after that now here dx is replaced to a sec square theta d theta whole divided by a square plus a square tan square theta that one is sec square theta d theta divided by okay here a here a is common then we got 1 plus tan square theta after that here sec theta divided by sec square theta and here also sec theta because of 1 plus tan square theta that is sec square theta under root after under root then we got sec theta simply then you can return right now here sec theta d theta okay now how can do this type of problem how can do okay now this one is also written as sec theta tan theta whole divided by sec theta tan theta okay into d theta now after that if sec theta plus tan theta <coughs> this be equal to t then that one is also written as sec theta tan theta plus sec square theta differentiation of that one d theta this be equal to dt so if sec theta is common then we got tan theta plus sec theta into d theta dt so dt divided by t that one is written as log t plus c dash now t replaced to sec theta plus tan theta plus c dash okay at tan theta is x by a So that one is written as this one is written as 1 plus tan square theta plus tan theta plus c dash log of x by a plus under root 1 plus x square by a square plus c dash that one is written as log of x plus under root x square plus a square minus log a plus c dash and that one is written as log x plus plus c that is right hand side so you can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side clear or not how can prove one by one okay here you can say that let that is question that is third proof now left hand side integration of dx divided by under root of 
x square minus a square. Let here consider x this be equal to a sec theta. So dx this be equal to a sec theta into tan theta d theta. Clear? Clear or not? Otherwise, that one is written as d theta. Clear? After that, that one is written as dx is replaced to a sec theta into tan theta d theta divided by that is a sec square theta minus 1. Sec square theta minus 1 is that is tan theta. So, that one is written as simply sec theta tan theta divided by your tan theta d theta. So, that one is written as that is sec theta d theta and sec theta tan theta is already written log of sec theta plus tan theta already proved ok very clear that one sec theta plus tan theta and here x this be equal to a sec theta so tan theta is sec square theta minus 1 under root of sec square theta minus 1. So, after that put this value we got x square minus a a square divided by a. Now, put here then we got log x by a plus under root of x square minus a square divided by a plus c dash. Now, log of x plus under root of x square minus a square minus log a plus c. That constant is written as log of x plus under root of x square minus a square plus c. Okay clear or not that is right hand side that is right hand side clear so you can say that left hand side this be equal to right hand side prove it ok clear or not see very carefully one by one now we are focus on fifth now we are focus on integration of dx clear dx upon x square minus a square so how can do it first of all if you see very carefully x square minus a square that one is written as x minus a into x plus a if you see very carefully 1 by 2 a 1 upon x minus a minus clear or not after solving we got that one ok clear or not so you can say that integration of x square minus a square dx is written as 1 by 2 a log of x minus a x plus a dx this be equal to 1 by 2 a 
x minus a x plus a plus c dash sorry plus c and that one is written as 1 by 2 a log of x minus a upon x plus a plus c okay that's the fifth part, fifth part. now we have to focus on fifth sixth part now today we'll focus on sixth part integration of dx divided by a square minus x square that one is written as integration of dx divided by a minus x into a plus x one upon and that one is written as 1 by 2a okay a minus x here a plus x into dx okay 1 by 2a minus log of and that one is a plus x plus c 1 by 2a a plus x upon a minus x plus c clear or not so finally six part are completed six that one is five that one is four okay that one is three very important formula derivative very important for derivative formulas okay so you can memorize then very useful for your exam okay part 2 and that is part 1 if any if you face any doubt then comment it i will discuss again okay now next a special formula i will discuss next class then after that is start session 3 okay make it